Mandalore's violent past is behind us. All of our warriors were exiled to our moon, Concordia. They died out years ago. Prime Minister Almec during the Battle of Kerr in the High Republic era, Admiral Pevel Kronara of the Republic Defense Coalition noted that the Mandalorians had been relatively peaceful since before his birth. In the years prior to the invasion of Naboo, another conflict broke out between the Mandalorian people, the Mandalorian Civil War. The Civil War was fought between competing ideals within Mandalorian society, including traditionalists who supported Mandalore's warrior past and the new Mandalorians, led by Satine Kreis. Also involved were the Mandalorian protectors of Concord Dawn, an elite group of warriors sworn to defend the Concord Dawn system. At the end of the Civil War, Satine Kreis ruled as the Duchess of Mandalore, and the warrior clans were exiled to Concordia. Some of these clans became the Death Watch, plotting their coup against the new regime, while others left Concordia and resettled in other parts of the galaxy, becoming the Old Mandalorians. These Old Mandalorians started working as private mercenaries, with no interest in revenge. At some point before 32 BBY, a series of conflicts known as the Mandalorian Civil Wars took place, in which the Mandalorian commando and foundling Jango Fett participated. It was during the wars that the skilled warrior obtained his distinctive Mandalorian armor. Satine gradually rebuilt following the damages caused by the war. The considerable number of deaths had left Satine with a fierce hatred of violence, and she became a staunch pacifist. She reformed Mandalorian way of life. She also established a Mandalorian government council that had several ministers, a cabinet which was led by a prime minister. By the time of the Clone Wars, the position was occupied by Almec. Under her rule, Mandalore prospered and turned into a modern and peaceful society. This new government also eventually joined the Galactic Republic. In the final years of the Republic, Jango Fett was considered the best bounty hunter in the galaxy. The Mandalorian bounty hunter's reputation attracted the attention of the Sith Order, and he was offered to become the clone template for the Grand Army of the Republic on Kamino. Fett accepted the offer, and the Kaminoan cloners used his genetic material to create genetically modified clone troopers, as well as two unaltered clones, Omega and Alpha, the latter whom Jango would take as his son, and name Boba Fett, teaching him their family's trade. The Mandalorian armor Fett wore inspired that of the clone troopers. Additionally the Mandalorian protectors also aided the Republic in training the clone troopers, with at least one of Fett's clones, CC-1138, being trained by an ex-journeyman protector. Fett's clones acted as the Republic's backbone during its war with the Confederacy of Independent Systems, a galaxy-wide conflict known as the Clone Wars. When the Clone Wars erupted, Satine Kreis made sure that Mandalore and the new Mandalorians remained neutral and continued to prosper. She then became leader of the Council of Neutral Systems, a galactic senate conglomerate of 1,500 star systems who wished to stay out of the conflict. 